Howdy friends, this is Mike and Lightning Dragon with All Terrain Family. Today we're coming to you live from... Space! Yes, we're in outer space today as you can clearly see. We have something interesting to show you today and it came in a brown box and that box looks like this. So, inside this box is a science chemistry activity that was sent to us by MEL Science. This is like a monthly subscription box thing that um, is popular. Like the Kiwi Crate. Just like Kiwi Crate. Um, that's popular with like homeschoolers and sort of active science families. And so they sent us this because they wanted to get our take on it and um, show you guys what's inside and how it all works. So let's it, open it. This is the basic kit that they send you with a subscription box. Um, so we're gonna open up and show you what's inside in this and then and then you can watch another video and we'll show you we'll go through all the things that are inside but we'll go we'll go through one of the kits all right so let's open it up okay so first thing what is this the starter kit so this is this let's show them this is the starter chemistry kit and then um, also in the box is chemistry of monsters. Chemistry of monsters. And uh, what's this one? Tin. Um, yeah, tin. Chemistry of tin. And I have no idea what this is. So this is another that. thing that they sent us, and it is uh, a VR headset. Oh. Um, I think so that you can um, interact with the the mobile app. The iPhone iPhone app that they have, which I have downloaded. So, so we'll start with the starter kit, which I think is a bunch of basic um, well, equipment. We got this platter. So a nice got little safety glasses. Little plastic platter that you can, I uh, assume, catch dangerous chemicals in. So safety glasses. These are just your standard, um, you know, basic safety glasses that you would have in any laboratory. They're adjustable and they're um, full coverage so that you're not going to splash nasty things in your eyeballs. We have a saw that is actually a phone holder. Okay, so it's a little phone holder. Oh. Let's see. So phone. So the phone holder looks like it just works like that. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. Kind of barely fits in there, but that's okay. It'll work. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so other things in this box. We got are this big syringe. A big syringe. <laughs> That's the first thing you don't do in a laboratory. So this is a, a 60 milliliter syringe. So we have, um, do you know what this is called? A cup for weird chemicals. This <laughs> is called an Erlenmeyer flask. And um, it's used to mix chemicals in, so you can put chemicals in it and swirl them around and mix things up. And then we there's have a funnel. This little baggie of what is in this baggie? A funnel to funnel things into that. What is in this bag? Inside the bag. Here, open it up so they can see it over here. There's whatever that thing so is. So I think this is, um, it says uh, for digital camera, mobile phones, lens. So it looks like. Who's this? Yeah, it looks like you can clip this over your phone to make a little microscope out of your phone. Oh, cool. So we'll see how that works later. And then this is this is a fisheye lens, and this one is a macro lens. So that should let us zoom in really close on things. Then we got this little heater, I think. Is this a heater? Yeah, so this um, is a little heat burner. So I think you put it up like this, and then you can put like a tea light, or maybe they have a, um, a fuel for it, and then you can can't and really set this. that. I'm, oh, I'm there you go. Goes in. So maybe there and there. So you can heat things up. That should be exciting. What are these? So these are little rubber stoppers. Oh. So this is a rubber stopper without a hole in it. And that can stopper up that. This, this is a rubber stopper with two holes in it. So that you could um, maybe make a distillation setup where you have water going in and, and liquid coming out. And then this one just has one hole in it. 
So this one would be if you want to just put one piece of tubing or a glass coming out of it. Two, uh, two cork trivets for when you heat the flask and then you set it down without burning your, oh yeah, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> set it down without burning your table. And then we have a whole bunch. Of cups. Uh, just plastic cups. And these I assume are for holding, temporarily holding um, liquids. This is a beaker. Just like the character on... Um, beaker! Yep, just like your favorite character on The Muppets. It's a beaker. Beaker. And I think the chemicals come from the other boxes. Yeah, I think these are just sort of basic labware. This is the rest, that's all that's in this box. So I think this is basic labware that you would need a... for almost all of the um, things that you would do. So what's in the book? Let's let's put it down right here so we can see it. So inside Ocean. the inside the book, um, oh, we have how to act in the chemistry laboratory. Oh, this is good stuff. Safety requirements. Never lick the spoon. First aid. Spoon? Information for parents. Battery so This is a this is basic safety stuff. Oh, and as well as some information on uh, the MEL science pro product itself. Oh, and here's what's included in the first shipment. So this is great. A lot of good information. I actually worked in a laboratory. I was a laboratory tech for 10 years. So all this stuff is very familiar to me. All of the, um, the, the burners, chemistry burners, protocol is familiar to me. And then that thingy. Yeah, I used all this stuff. So um, we're not going to read the directions. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and we're going to um, put this, all this stuff back where it goes and then we'll show you the, the other chemistry kit. of monsters. Chemistry of monsters. Let's open this. Well, oh, chemistry of monsters. It's that right there. See? This says it is for 12 plus. How old are you? Eight. I guess we can't do this one. Yes, we can. Okay, we can. So, chemistry of monsters. It says, warning, this set contains chemicals that may be harmful if misused. Read cautions on individual containers carefully, blah, 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 blah. Instructions, instructions. So um, on the back, there's another warning and another warning. And then there's a list of uh, the contents. Oh, sodium. And then what you're going to need from the starter kit as well. Sodium hydrogen. Okay. So let's open it up. There's a sleeve. Just like a matchbox. Welcome to science. And there's a bunch of other languages, I think. I can't see it. But yeah, yeah, there's a bunch. Okay, inside the box is. Uh, hold on. Um, here's the things you'll need from the um, starter kit, as well as looks like a little informational card about how to make a carbon snake. A little step-by-step um, uh, -step guide. Hmm. And then... Um, what is this? So it looks like there are two um, projects for this one. You do foam eruption and carbon snake. This one also has nice instructions. Hold on a sec. Chemicals. Ooh, citric acid. So we have um, little, little vials of chemicals. Um, citric acid and sodium carbonate. NaHCO3 so. and fuel. I think we have, that. yep, sodium hydrogen carbonate, baking soda, and solid fuel, which is Na2 hexamethylene CO3. tetramine. And that sounds sketchy. So, two things of that fuel, and then, hold on, hold on. This is anthocyanin, food coloring, sodium carbonate, and more and citric acid. A bunch acid. of citric acid. So, um, a lot of neat little chemicals. I wonder what this is. These are probably gloves. Oh. Uh, I think it's one pair of small and one pair of large gloves. Oh, okay. And then we have some I liquid soap. Ones. Two packets of liquid soap. Um, we have uh, a, a syringe. This is a 10 milliliter syringe. Hey, we have a spoon and a funnelish looking thing. Here. So these are tubes and I'm, I'm guessing that these tubes... We have tubes, that kind of thing in um, kiwi crate. 
Yeah, so I'm guessing that these tubes um, are going to go in to the one of the beakers, or the sorry, the flask. Then these little measuring spoons and a funnel. This. And then we have like these. Can... a couple little yeah. stickers. Cool. These look like the hazard stickers. Um, a couple pieces of tin foil. Of foil. This is like heavy duty foil. And then. Um, Calcium gluconate, little tablets of calcium gluconate. What's calcium gluconate? Well, calcium gluconate is C12H22CAO14. Oh, okay. Calcium cool. gluconate. Stick gloves. There's some of these um, wooden sticks, wooden uh, cylinders. I'm thinking they're from like uh, Mitzi. Maybe, as well as full instructions for chemistry of monsters. All right. Open up the gloves. Well, let's not open up the gloves yet. So inside okay. this instruct is, you know, another good set of instructions that um, goes through um, the whole thing. Do you want me to get the starter kit so we can? Uh, let's let's um, put this stuff back, and we'll show you the other kit, okay. and then we'll um, we'll the open them up and and get started on the, one of the projects. Another warning, and two more warnings. More warnings. Three more warnings. So same thing, an alluring picture of something strange on the front, and then instructions on the back. This one is also Ten. 12 plus. How old are you again? Eight. Okay. Hope it's okay. Um, all right, so then we're gonna take the sleeve off. This box is A the same. A bunch of different languages again. And then we have a very similar, um, set up here on the inside. Um, these are the, the things you need from the, oh, these are the things you need before you start. Okay. Cards. Well, look at this one. So this one's got more chemicals. What do we have here? We've got some asbestos. We have some sodium hydrogen sulfate and some- uh, SN some stannous, CL2. Some stannous chloride, tin chloride. Um, oh, looks we like we have another bottle. Duplicates, so two of those. We have two of these little test bottles. And three of those. So we have three of those. And um, three of those kits. And then another Oh, whatever. and there's another one. So there's four of those kits. I wonder if that means that we can do four of the projects twice. So in this one we have some liquid soap and some oh and some actual tin. Look at that. Oh zinc, sorry. Some actual zinc. Some chunky chunks of zinc. Okay. So we have two of these little test bottles. Yeah, so th these are like little test tubes. We also have cords for something. Yeah, so these are little red and black cords with alligator clips on both ends. That's what these are called, alligator clips. See? Mm -hmm. Why do you think they call them alligator clips? Because it looks like an alligator. So these look like little um, bottle toppers. Bottle toppers. So I'm sure those will come in handy. So we have a battery, battery. kit. We have some batteries. So this is a battery kit that looks like it takes triple A's, four triple A's. And then we have a couple of, these are called Petri dishes. Two of these. These are plastic. You could probably reuse them once or twice. A couple of, um, these look like childproof caps for, hazard caps for something that goes in here. Um, another set of large and small gloves, and then two paper clips. That's okay. it. We also got these, but we showed you that in the Another end. set of instructions, and then two um, project cards. So it looks like you can make a tin dendrite for one of the projects, and a tin hedgehog. A tin hedgehog. For one of the projects. So it's got all the in instructions here on it. And so this should be fun. Which one should we do first? Chemistry of Monsters. Chemistry of Monsters is first, everybody. All right, so this is what you get in the starter kit with uh, MEL Science, starter and kit. they send this to you. And then I think every month you get one or two of these project kits, but then you keep this. So don't break your, your, your glassware and don't lose it. Starter kit. I think you could probably use this box to just store everything in when you're done. 
All right, so that's what you get. And um, tune back into the next video and we will show you, uh, we'll make Chemistry of Monsters here in outer space. Yep. What galaxy are we in again? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> We'll have to figure out what galaxy. Are we going to be in space when we come back or are we going to be somewhere else? Space. We'll be in space again when we come back. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more of this, please subscribe to our channel. And um, if you want to see more sort of in-depth stuff and, and a little bit more detail than you would see on our YouTube channel, you can check out our Patreon page where you can support what we do as well as um, see things that nobody else can see, a little member perks. And if you're into camping and off-roading, you can see where we go and get detailed um, trip guides and GPS tracks and all that good stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.